Hey guys, I'm Caleb Kosterke and this is Proven Progression. It is the very end of April and we're going out for some spring riding and gonna bring you guys along for the day. And throughout the day, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to have more fun um, riding this late in the season. So the first tip of the day is to start your ride like early afternoon or even late afternoon because it takes a long time for the snowpack to get slushy and if you go out first thing in the morning it's going to be super icy. The most essential part of this is hitting it when the conditions allow you to actually get that track trenched in so you can ride like semi-normal. <laughs> To take the shortcut and all the whoops made that trail feel so much longer. Yeah. It's not that long, it just it's felt like it. Not bad though. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, for sure. And no dirt, yeah. which isn't bad when it's the end of April. Yeah, right? So we found this aspect that has uh, some fairly soft snow. And I just did a little bow tie session. Now Liam's gonna go do something. What are you gonna do? You gotta pick something, hop over or bow tie, re-entry. Bow tie it is. In the spring like this, some aspects are super icy and then some are soft. I like to find soft ones and just session them. That was pretty textbook. I'm ready, I'm ready, tell them more, hold on if it gets too heavy. Coming in, I'm ready, I'm steady, I can't I'm the 
percent authentic. Let's push the wall with your own minute. Raise your hand if you're with me. Let's put in work and get busy. Yeah. And you know the vibe we was on the way. It's pretty icy in the shade. And like the, these pillows are super hard to ride due to this these spring conditions. And we're gonna do a couple more lines in here and then we're gonna head to a more open zone and see if we can put these scoop shovels to use by uh, building a little jump. <laughs> We'll dig this out and then slide the slide backwards on its panel. But we'll dig this out first so we can pull it back. Those bars will just dig in right now. <laughs> Something else that's really important for spring riding is having a shorter track. Ridge over here has uh, a 155, three inch, and you can really tell the difference between like the 146 that Luke's on or the 137 that I'm on. And not just a shorter track, but also getting a really stiff paddle um, helps a lot. That's why I run the composite M66 for all my spring riding. It has a really good lug pattern. It has a sawtooth on the top of the lug that helps get traction in this um, slush and icier conditions. Makes a huge difference and makes spring riding 10 times more fun. You stack that with being shorter and having a good set of shocks and all of a sudden um, your sled set up really good for this type of snow. You wanna walk out like all the way to the edge here? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Another like three feet, good to go? Yep. Bow ties, baby. Advanced bow ties. That was kind of sick. I think I want to get under it a little bit more. wanted to just use the sled to shape it so I could call this a natural hit but I blew through into this kind of hollow spot and I gotta have to use the shovel to fill that in so quick shovel job and then we'll go for the 270 flip <laughs> Good Luke. I'm gonna back up and then go for it. <laughs> Tiny, just how I wanted it. So small. Yes. I'll have to watch the footage, but I think that might've been my smallest flip yet. There's one I did a couple years ago where I almost hit my head on the lip of the jump, but I'm, I'm hoping this one was smaller. We'll see. Oh, I'm glad I finally got to see that in person instead of just on line. <laughs> I'm a little upset that I could only see it through the camera. Those are so fucking fun, dude. Just had to go for a jog or what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so excited, you gotta run it off. No, I left my phone over here. Are you videoing? Yeah. 
Oh, nice. Did it look small? It felt small. It looked tiny. Yeah, your head was probably six feet off the ground. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, dude. Felt good. Snowmobiles are so rad. <laughs> actually gonna get this one. Probably six feet, seven feet deep right here. One, two, three. Oh yes. One, two, three. Three. Okay, Luke, grab the brake. Yeah, I can't believe you got it out that fast. Pretty sick spring day of riding. We got a little bit of everything, 270 flip, tree riding, pillows, water skipping, and uh, I'm pretty stoked on the day. Thanks for tuning into this episode and be on the watch for next season's episodes. So what I did is I filmed this whole spring, all of my riding and traveling, um, but I didn't have time to edit it. So those episodes will be released starting mid-September and go every week into next winter and then weekly episodes all of next winter.